Hey, what's up guys? It's Roger Martez back again for another video. It's currently Saturday morning and I just woke up. As you guys can see, like my hair is in a cone, my face is dry, and I think this might be like a little bit of like drool on my face, honestly. Who knows? Who cares? I actually want to get a lot done this weekend. Last week, I told you guys that I got a new job and I was starting really soon and I started. Fortunately enough for me, I don't have to go into work on the weekends now, so I am so, so, so happy about that. The only thing that's like bad about it is my last position, I was making overtime and now I'm not. But with that being said, my quality of life is just like so much better now. So like I can actually choose what I want to do on the weekends. I'm not tired anymore. I got a lot of sleep yesterday. And you know, what makes things even better about this weekend is my favorite cousin is here. So you guys get to meet her. I'm not going to tell you guys where exactly I'm moving yet. Some of you already know. The few of you know who you are. I do have supporters that actually like reach out to me and check on me and stuff and I talk to them because you know. With that being said, let me get ready and let's get this weekend started. Cause it's Saturday and it's like 1.20 and I really just slept in. It's really out of hand, it's getting excessive. As you can see, there is a shoulder, like right here, <laughs> and it's not me, it's my cousin. I don't know if she's ever been on my channel before, but she's definitely been here while I've been vlogging. So I'm just gonna introduce you guys to her. Her name is Deja. Um, through the editing process, then that's when I'll add her Instagram because I have to know if she wants people to know who she is, you know, but this is her. Hey y'all, I'm a little lit. It's not even no sun out here for real, but. <laughs> we just made it to 12 Oaks Mall and we're about to go and see my best friend. We about to go pull up on Taj because he knew I was coming and I don't understand why he at work, so I'm about to go get him fired. Look, Deja just got done fighting him. Taj, what are you selling? Pussy. They're harassing me at work. Nah, no, it's not like that. <laughs> now that I've officially transitioned jobs, like, I feel like I have all of the time in the world. I'm used to working 70 hour work weeks and now I'm down to 40. And that doesn't include the fact that I'm literally brand new. When I actually get ready to move, a lot of the time that I'll be like doing stuff is gonna be actually traveling or being on the phone. So as far as like actual work, Doing this and working from home is way less more extensive and way less strenuous on me and my mental health than like working at the plant was. I'm happy and I really just want to like focus on myself. Um, so this week I'm stressed. I have to work a lot, but I'm just gonna bring you guys throughout that. Um, it's also Valentine's Day weekend, so I wanna spend some time, you know, having fun, dating myself. I did not think I was gonna be single this Valentine's Day year. I guess I should have known because I've been single almost every single Valentine's Day of my life. Actually, a matter of fact, I have been single every single Valentine's Day. Last year, I just had a Valentine. So sad. <laughs> anyway. I'm currently at work right now because if you didn't know, I got a promotion and I switched positions. Right now, I am sales manager for a district and that district is where I will be moving. So yeah, I gotta finish up like interpreting some reports and shit and then I'm gonna like do all of that, I guess. I'm still trying to understand everything. You know how when you first start a job and you just really don't get it? Like, I mean, I get it from a holistic approach, but yeah, we're about to do some learning and... Hey guys, so you know that I love the brand Dossier for their candles and for their fragrances, but this candle right here is called the Gourmand White Flower. It's gonna be inspired by Victor and Roth's Flower Bomb Perfume. This candle is amazing because it makes my house smell like one of my favorite perfumes that I actually have purchased a few times for my mom and other members of my family. 
Alrighty, so I just finished up at work. I'm actually about to get ready and go in DoorDash. I don't know if you guys could tell, but like, I am stressed. And I'm not stressed for bad reasons. Like, I'm just stressed because there's a lot going on. Like, I have to prepare this move. I have experienced a change in pay. And that's only because like, I'm not working overtime anymore. But because I'm not working overtime anymore, I'm not getting the same amount of extra money that I would be getting every single month. So like my lifestyle kind of has to change and when my lifestyle is changing, I have to think about everything. So it's just, it's just a lot on me right now. So I'm about to get ready and DoorDash. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to make some extra money. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to work at the mall and like sell fragrance. I told you guys I do that sometimes. So I'm gonna actually like get on all of this and like really try and hustle my ass off this weekend because I'm gonna make like a thousand dollars. I know I am, I've done it before and I'm gonna do it again. Not like crazy, crazy fun, but I'm gonna go out with Jordan and then our friend from Denmark is actually in America. So she's gonna come um, with us for her last night out or better yet, I'm gonna go with them. So that should be a little fun and then it's gonna be like a lit ass hustling ass weekend. All right, y'all, so I don't know how I let myself like get dressed, shower, and all that without talking to you yet, but I made $60 from DoorDash, and I just said that was enough. Actually, I think that I'm gonna make a video and talk about why I'm stressed out. That'll probably be like my most transparent video that I've ever been with you guys, just because like I don't like to stress you guys out. I don't like to tell you guys too much. Like, you know, this is all social media, so people say that social media is like the highlight reel of people's lives, but when I come here, I want to be like the most vulnerable version of myself because I want to be the most authentic version of myself. So with that comes, you know, honesty, transparency, and I really just want to tell you guys what's going on because it's stressing me out. <laughs> it's fucking stressing me out. You guys don't even know, like I have to literally move. I'm gonna give you guys a, a hint. I'm gonna move to the East Coast. So I literally have to move to the East Coast I somehow have to come up with $6,000 by the middle of March. And granted, I know exactly how I could come up with this, but do I want to spend it all? No, I don't. It's just a lot. But yeah, bitch, I'm stressed. I'm fucking stressed. And now I'm about to go to the fucking bar and drink with my best bitch. And I'm gonna make her buy me all my drinks. I can never have a successful weekend vlog. It's because I am literally always just taking my clothes off and wanting to go sleep. I don't know, like I just got back home from work. Um, I cooked, I'm tired now. Now I wanna sleep. <sighs> Do y'all eat in your bed? <laughs> I know this is so random, but like I be so fucking tired. I actually like cooked a whole meal. And it's crazy because I actually made salmon again. But like, I cook, and now I'm about to eat it in my bed. Cause I just, uh, uh, that's all I can say. Um, I'm about to sit here, I'm about to watch my little YouTube videos. Can you move? Can you move? See, one thing about my dog, she is so needy. And I left the food on my bed. But one thing about Pixie, I will whoop her ass. And she doesn't want her ass whooped. So she's gonna sit here. <laughs> Right here. And you see how she's looking at that plate? She's gonna sit here and wait until, <laughs> just wait until I start eating. Because she just, she can't even contain herself. She is so ready. Cause she wants me to give her some, but I'm probably not. But it looks good today, look. Boom, boom, doesn't that look good? You can't have any. You can't have any, okay? You can't. So I took that nap and it was great. I thought I actually wanted to go outside and go to the club or something, but I didn't go. So I woke up at like 
eleven thirty, right? And then my frat brother comes over at maybe twelve. We're sitting here, we're talking. He brings over like a pint of tequila, so we drink that. And this bitch done fell asleep. Mind you, it's like two thirty right now. But I've been doing nothing besides watching reels on my laptop. And this bitch, this stole my bed. Hello, Rodney. Hello, Rodney. Hello, Rodney. You see the shit I have to deal with? Like, now I'm about to walk Pixie and then, like, do my nighttime routine. Yeah, it's really, like, four in the morning. <sighs> and that shower was so peaceful. I sat in there, like, literally for about ten minutes just with the water running. I know that's, like, so wasteful, but... Yeah, I sat in there, I relaxed, and I let loose. Now I'm just like drying off so I can do this little skincare routine. Um, I think I'm gonna do like the whole routine actually because I really wanna like get back into like doing my whole skincare routine and all of that and actually staying on top of it because I feel like with this cold weather, my skin has really been doing the fucking watussy and I'm just not happy about it. So when I get out of the shower, I usually start with this ferulic acid brew from Kiehl's. Um, it's like super good. I love how it makes my skin feel and it has like some oils and stuff in there. And after I use it, I really feel like I don't have to do anything else. Like, yeah, it just feels so good. So basically you have to shake it up and then you're supposed to put like five squirts in your hand. And uh, essence is basically like a toner, but you press it into the skin. For all of you skincare experts that are going to hop in my comments, possibly, do not get on here telling me what I should do, what order I should do, how I should push my face, because it's my fucking face. And this is how I choose to do self-care, so this is how I'm going to do it. And until you guys are paying my bills, you won't tell me how to do anything. I actually think I got some of that in my eye. Not the spray, but the ferulic acid brew. After that, I'm gonna take my hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and just, you know, put that on my face because it retains moisture and all that good stuff. Tomorrow, I'm really gonna like take time and focus on myself. I think I'm gonna take myself out on a date. Um, I wanna go to like a really nice little breakfast slash brunch alone and I think that'll be like really cute and I think honestly like I deserve it. Um, I know I talked a little bit about like being in a relationship and how all of that like affected me the whole breakup and I didn't really, I, I swear like when you go through like, when you have your first relationship you think that the shit is just going to last forever and I think I finally got into a point of realizing that the breakup was probably like the best thing. Um, our relationship was long distance, so, you know, it was unfortunately like an inconvenience for the both of us. And I know that word sounds harsh, at least it sounded harsh to me when I heard it. But um, honestly, truly, it was an inconvenience. And as much as it like saddens me that the shit is over, I feel like honestly, we are both, um, what's the word, excelling and growing into our lives and, you know, who we're supposed to be. I didn't say it, but this is tretinoin. It's like a retinol and it's like a strong one. <laughs> but it really is a strong one. It's like 0.1. People usually use like 0 0.025 or something. But yeah, like I really feel like we are moving on to like different parts of our lives and actually like growing up into the people who we need to be and who we're supposed to be. Like, I'm moving to Delaware. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It's gonna be edited out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm moving. I got a promotion at work. I'm literally doing amazing things um, that honestly, like I didn't even believe that I would be this far in life, I guess. Um, talking to you guys is kind of distracting me from what I'm actually doing, but yeah, I'm doing skincare, so I'm going to use this as like acid suspension cream, and I usually do a lot more at nighttime just because night is when stuff like really sits on your skin, and night is when I put my retinol on because I don't want to put it on and then go outside in the sun 
because I know I'm supposed to, but I don't really wear sunscreen in the winter. I try and use like a no cast sunscreen in the summer, but sometimes I just don't want a lot of stuff on my face. When it comes to my moisturizer, because that's what I'm gonna be using next, I use this Kiehl's Calendula Water Cream. It feels really good. It's like one of those water-based gel-like moisturizers and you don't really have to even use a lot. Um, it just feels so good. But yeah, back to what I was saying, like mm. Valentine's Day. I just really feel like I need to treat myself and for these next two days, I'm really just gonna be doing that. And I wanna just honestly continue becoming the best version of myself. This is Rose Hip Oil by The Ordinary. I usually put that on after my moisturizer because, you know, oil locks in moisture. I'm sorry, I'm like breathing and all this stuff, but I'm actually kind of tired. I just told myself like part of becoming the version who I want to be is creating content and like actually sticking to it this time. And I'll get into that in another video about like why I stopped, but a lot of it had to do because I didn't know where exactly my direction was or what exactly I wanted to do with my life. But honestly, you don't really need a direction. And I've been noticing that like things kind of just happen. As long as you're true to like who you are, what you want to do, you just do what feels good. And you let the universe like do its thing and take you where you're supposed to go. Cause shit, things have just been happening for me <laughs> and I'm so thankful, but yeah, things have been happening for me and it doesn't come without stress because Honestly, y'all, like, I'm fucked up right now. Like, I'm not down bad or anything, but just, like, mentally, it's a lot going on. Like, with this move, I'm leaving my friends. I'm leaving everything I ever knew. Like, honestly, where I'm moving, I don't know anybody. Like, I have one friend who's, like, 30 minutes away, and then my next friend is an hour away. Then I have friends two hours away. So it's just, like, <sighs> But it's a dope area. Where I'm moving is a dope area, I promise. Um, but I'm pretty much done with my little routine. My hair looks a mess right now. And this right here isn't a bald spot. Let me tell you, I'm beefed out with my barber right now, actually, because... Okay, so whenever I get my hair cut, I get it cut a very particular way. I usually keep the hair in the front longer. So I picked out my hair for my barber to like do a trim, because I get a trim every three, two, three months. But look how long this hair in the back is. It's definitely a good four or five inches. Four, four inches, probably. Look, look at this, two and a half inches. So now, some of y'all will be like, no, nothing is wrong because, you know, it's just hair, but it is wrong because like the shape of my hair is something that like I focus on a lot. So when I actually like curl my hair up and do all of that kind of stuff, the front being low, it makes like, I don't know. It's like the front always had a little bit of it's just I'm I'm very particular about how I like my hair and how I like things and it not being like that really fucked me up. I got home and got out the shower and put my little products in my hair and I was pissed. <laughs> I was pissed. But it's okay. Let go. Let God. Um I'll be back in Jordan's chair next Friday. You guys know that was my roommate in college, so we didn't have many ups and downs, many ups and downs, but I'm gonna stick beside him. I'm gonna stick beside him. <sighs> Great barber, by the way. Um, I'm gonna tag his info right there. He just, honestly, he didn't really mess up though. He cut my hair how he would cut everybody else's hair. And that's just like the standard, but I usually keep more hair up here because I just like my curls to fall in my face, but now they're not falling in my face. So it just like upsets me. It's okay. It's okay. All right, guys. Good night. It's time for me to hang up. <laughs> Love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. And you guys can come on my dates with me. And I have to go to work. Good morning, guys. So, I actually woke up, like, extremely late. I was supposed to be up at 10 or 10.30 at the latest. But I ended up getting up at 11.30. So, I really can't take myself out. And I'm pretty pissed about it. But I'm just going to get lunch from P.F. Chang's and then eat that before I go to work. That's still treating yourself, right? I think so. So it's giving very much Chang's spicy chicken bowl. 
All right, so I went to BF Chang's and I literally have like 10 minutes till I clock into work. So I ordered the Chang spicy chicken and these crab one two crab wontons, I guess. Y'all will not believe what happened. As I'm sitting here eating my Chang spicy chicken, <clears throat> my boss texts me and says, it's not busy at all, you don't have to come in. But I was already there. I was already waiting outside, so guess what I did? I'm not going in because it's my day to treat my damn self. And that's what I'm going to do. I know that I have to go get Pixie some food, so I'm about to go get some food. Um, I just put gas in my car. And it's like the prices of everything is going up. Gas is literally $3.45. Crazy. It just randomly started snowing. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. It, it's just, it's unacceptable. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's, it's wrong. Don't call me a bad dog dad, but I did forget Pixie's birthday. And her birthday was on February 8th. So I'm going to get her some toys and hopefully she forgives me. But the thing is, I've been broke, I've been hustling, like, I have not really had the time to just, like, get that dog everything she needs and wants. She just, she has so much fun already in life. It's just like, what else do you need? You have me as a dad, what else do you need? I don't see her food. I do not see her food. They only have the big one, and I really didn't want to spend $40 on food. pissed so this is what food i feed my dog i get her the blue buffalo chicken and brown rice recipe so i'm gonna get pixie this turtle because it says that it's bite protected and she likes to do this thing where she'll like play with her toys so much swing them around and then pull all the stuffing out of it and there's like a sale going on it's like buy one get one half off and then i'm gonna get her this tough little bone hey guys so Life has just happened, and I talked to you guys after, like, I didn't go to work, but now I'm getting ready for that party I was telling you about, the Lovers and Friends, Lovers and Friends Day Party. Um, I ended up, like, kind of just, like, talking to my friend who lives in the building and having, like, a quick drink with her, and then I had to go and help my best friend out with something because he's bringing his photo booth to the party, and now I'm just, like, getting ready. So I wanted you guys to like watch this and at first I was gonna like do a little tutorial cause I was gonna like put a little bit of makeup on my face because I just feel like I've been breaking out so fucking bad. Like I got this new zit right here, it left a mark. I got this right here, it left a mark. So I really just wanna cover that up. If you guys ever saw like even when before, like before I knew how to do shit, like I never tried to like go all out and do a lot because that's not what I want. I just want to cover up stuff. I'm not going to do a tutorial. I'm not going to talk. My music is going to be playing, but you know, you guys are going to see me do it. I'll probably like show you guys the products, but basically last year, I think I told you guys, I bought a whole bunch of like Fenty products. So I know my colors in Fenty and that's basically what I use. Um, so you guys will just watch that whole process, but like just notice that and this. And like just a little bit of the discoloration, like you won't be able to see that anymore. And like I don't go for a very like dramatic look at all. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. And <laughs> you guys are along for the ride. And then I'm going to bring you to the party too, because why not? And it's my brother's event, so. And if anybody was wondering, when it comes to like the Fenty's colors, I use 385 and 400 because... Summer and winter, okay? I get lighter in the winter, um, but I still am pretty orange, so I like to use 400 too, because it's warm, and my skin's warm. So, these two. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to hurry up and go, like, get myself ready, but as you can see, like, I didn't really do anything, like, I just made shit look 
that looks a little bit too blunt right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I just need to. <laughs> I was looking at the camera and it just didn't look like it was blended enough for me. The point of me doing this wasn't so people could know that I had it on at all by any means. I just wanted to look like I was just, you know, my skin was just better than it was. Whole time I was rushing, so I forgot. And y'all, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm using a Q-tip of alcohol on it to wipe my jewelry off because I put the jewelry on before I did my makeup. So it probably has a little bit of makeup on it and that's the last thing I want. But yeah, I forgot to do my skincare routine. I didn't put primer on either. <sighs> that just goes to show how much I actually pay attention and do this shit for real, but it does look good. It does. I mean, besides the fact that my lips are glossy and there's this light right here, so you guys probably can see a little bit more than the average person can, but okay, yeah, so this is this is the look. Look, I'm wearing this white shirt, these blue jeans, and then I'm just honestly gonna throw some Tims on because it's snowing, like there's a fucking blizzard outside, and I have this green Ivy Park thing where she did the Deck the Halls collection and I'm just gonna wear that because it's really cute and I just think it'll go. And honestly, I haven't been shopping in two years. So I hope this like looks okay, but I look okay in the mirror. This lighting is just throwing it off. Sometimes like the lighting and the colors are off on the viewfinder. So yeah, it's gonna do cause it looks great in the mirror, so. And if you guys read the title, you know that this video is me going apartment shopping and the location of where I will be moving will be revealed at the end of this video or throughout. I haven't really decided. Who knows? You guys will find out. So I am going apartment shopping and I am super happy about it. So I have to catch my flight at 4 o'clock. I kind of already have been up moving around because my little sister needed me to pick her up from the airport today. There's supposed to be a snowstorm, so I hope my flight doesn't get delayed. And then tomorrow, I'm picking up my car, so that's like exciting because I get a whole new vehicle. Guys, I just made it to the airport and I am like actually kind of drunk right now. Um, I've been drinking all day and I don't know why I did that, but this flight is about to be great. I gotta send some emails while I'm in here because I haven't really been doing too much work today, but I do have a lot to do regarding my move. And it seems like the airport is actually kind of busy, but I have clear, so I don't have to deal with any lines. I scan my eyes, so. You know, the craziest thing about vlogging is when like people look at you funny for like holding your camera up, but it's a lifestyle and I don't really care. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to decide, do I want Chick-fil-A or do I want Popeyes? Like, which one is honestly best? I really can't figure it out. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do one of them. I think that I deserve some fried food at this point. I've been trying to cook for myself every day. I've been trying to eat healthy. I haven't been to the gym, but I've been doing what I need to do when it comes to like, you know, preparing healthy meals for myself and I think I owe myself a treat. Especially being that, you know, I just drank. But this is like a special occasion. I finally get to say I'm moving out of Detroit and I really feel proud of myself. Like, I actually do. I feel really happy that I was able to make it out of, and I know I keep on talking bad about that plant, but I was really able to make it out of like a manufacturing environment to a marketing environment within what, four months? Like that's unheard of. Like I feel great about it. And I'm gonna make a video about the fact that somebody made a diss track about me. And I think that it would just be so funny to talk about because one of the lines that really stuck with me was, oh, I wanted to drop out of school, this and that. I don't know any bitch who went to college who didn't want to drop out of school. School is a fucking scam. This shit is hard as hell. And the bitch who was doing all the talking didn't go to school, didn't graduate. It's just like, we're not the fucking saying sis <laughs> at all. And now you're eating your fucking words because I'm making six figures at 24. You know, fuck you. <laughs> and that that's the least, I mean, that's the most cuss words I'm gonna probably use in this video, but bitch, fuck you. Fuck everybody else. At the end of the day, when it comes down to what I actually do in real life, I'm really on my shit. So bitch, give it up. But that being said, Chick-fil-A line is long. So I think I'm gonna go to Popeye's. Actually, it's not that long.
So as I'm sitting in the Chick-fil-A line, I figure out that they just delayed my flight. And instead of boarding at 420, I'll be boarding at 541. So now I get to Baltimore at 703, which is not really a bad layover or which isn't really a bad delay, but who the fuck wants to do that? Not me. Honestly, truly. So I'm gonna sit here and eat my food and then I am going to send a few emails out. I think they just called my name. I'll be right back. Look at my brother. Rodney, say hi. <laughs> Say hi, Rodney. Okay, so I've got, I got my Chick-fil-A, I got my fries, and I got my chicken nuggets. And I'm about to chow down and talk to him on the phone. You know, the bitches be so needy. So they have to be on the phone. They have to be on the phone, they have to be talking. Girl, they can't hear you. What he's trying to say is I called him, but I was calling him back because the girl called me all day. And I switched my hat around like this so I could eat my food comfortably and talk to y'all with a fresh face, okay? I'm going to Baltimore. I'm flying into Baltimore. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to DC. And then Saturday, I'm going to apartment shop in Delaware. Baltimore is where I'm staying because my friend lives there. So I finally made it back to, or shit, fuck, 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 Ken. All right, so I finally made it to BWI and it is all of like 10 p.m. And it's because my flights got delayed so many times. First, they said that there was an issue with the bathroom. Then they had to move us to a different plane. Then I went to go get food. Then we got delayed again. We didn't leave until supposedly 8.15, but when we got on the plane, we didn't take off till 9 fucking 20. So now I'm finally here. It was only an hour flight. Um, I'm pretty tired actually, so I'm about to go meet up with him. And Ken, do you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to meet Ken in a second. No, 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 they can't hear you now, but you're going to be in the vlog. I see you, luxury vehicle. Oh. Okay, open the automatic trunk, Ken. What's up, guys? <laughs> I just woke up and my hair is like in a cone. I had a meeting. Well, me and Ken both had a meeting. As you can see, that's Ken. What's up? Um, he has his bougie standing desk going on, but I'm about to get ready, like shower, make myself a little presentable, and make my way to my business center because I've got some things to pick up and I'll show you what I get to pick up when I get there. All right, guys, so I'm finally in my car. I'm gonna show you guys later, but this car is really sweet as fuck. Like, I feel like I am in a luxury-ass vehicle, and y'all are really gonna scream when you see what it is, because if you guys know what my car is before, I had a Cherokee, not the Grand Cherokee, but the Cherokee Trailhawk, and it was nice, like super, super nice, like two years ago. And it's still a nice car now, but like, this car, <laughs> this car, it's not even a car, it's a fucking truck. Um, But yeah. It's nice as hell, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So I'm driving through DC right now because my job is based in um, DC. But I, you know, I'm pretty much gonna be in the DMV area for this whole time. So yeah, I'm just really excited. Like I have so much on my mind right now. Like I'm technically working, but I'm picking up my car and traveling right now if that makes sense. So I, I don't know, but I cannot wait to show you guys. I am driving back to downtown Baltimore to, or how do they say it, Baltimore, Baltimore? I'm, I'm driving there. So I, that was horrible. That was horrible. But yeah, I'm driving there to go see Ken, and I think that Ken is gonna stay in tonight. I don't think he wants to go out, but I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna enjoy my time here, explore a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Philly or if I'm gonna come back down to DC. I'm aiming towards DC and then Philly might be tomorrow just because like I'm 
in the area searching for my apartment in Delaware. So where I'm moving in Delaware, which is Wilmington, will be about 25 to 30 minutes from Philly. So that's probably where I'm going to be spending most of my time. I mean, shit, even D.C. too. I don't know. It just might be like a two hour drive all the time. And sometimes I just know I'm not going to feel like it. But everything on the East Coast is pretty much accessible. Like so from Wilmington, New York is two hours away. Philly is 25 minutes. D.C. is an hour and a half. Baltimore is 40 minutes. So I just I just can't wait for my new life. The only thing that I'm dreading is driving back home because who wants to do an eight hour drive like I don't. But whatever, whatever. I am blessed. I'm happy. I'm not stressed. I'm blessed and highly favored shit. I think that was the uh, phrase I was looking for. And I'm really happy to be starting this new chapter in my life. So, yeah. And another thing, y'all have to hear how loud the sound system is. Like, just hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Do it on the big, do it, do it, do it on the big, do it on the big, do it. Top notch, bitch, on a list, big, Rich with an attitude, I double King, why I pussy pop to a Shemina, Miami. Crimes, that's the trick that it takes to keep the bride. Y'all, I didn't even realize that there's a fucking sunroof! There is a sunroof! Oh my god. It's giving very, very, very much material, girl. Use the right lane. All right, so I'm outside on the top of the parking garage, and I just want you guys to see, you know, the bad bitch mobile that's behind me. Okay, in three, two, one. Yep. This, this is my new, um, Kim, what is this? <laughs> what kind of car is this? <laughs> It, I, it's a Ram 1500 Laramie, Laramie 4x4 black. crew cab, black on black. It has a Hemi in it. Um, and it's really just, you know, that bitch mobile, mine. <laughs> and it's just awesome. I'm fucking geek. As you're walking up on the vehicle, you know, it's, it's just very blacked out. But once you open this, this comes down for you so I can step my tall ass on here and hop right in the vehicle. Don't mind the trash in here. That is just my Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, and what we can't have is that. Um, so, it, this glare is outrageous, but as you can see, wait, the screen is there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's giving spaceship. Look at this emblem right here. Th this is, look at all of this room in this car. Are you kidding me? The sunroof, too? You can't even beat that. Let me just show you what kind of bad bitch friend I have. So this is, this is Kenneth. <laughs> hey, Kenneth. Hey. You know, you want to give them a tour of your vehicle? But well, I'm- We're here, corporate baddies, okay? We are corporate baddies. So I'm here with the 2021 Alfa Romero Stelvio. This is a, a sport. When you look inside. Oh yeah. I don't know what any of this is called. Interior. It's a bad bitch mobile. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You guys will have pics later on Instagram. That's all I have to say. Now, you guys get to go apartment shopping with me tomorrow. And like I said, this is a fucking journey. I'm very happy that you guys are here with me. Um, I'm really excited. Honestly, like I said earlier, there's just so much on my mind at this point. Yeah. Life is just moving, and I'm extremely blessed and highly favored, and yeah. Are we downtown? We're, um, Inner Harbor. Inner Harbor, yeah. So we're in Inner Harbor, Baltimore. Um, I guess that is... What is it? Is that pronounced Philip or Philip? <laughs> Philip. <laughs> I want to make everything. That's the National Aquarium. Uh huh. Uh, it's the Corner Bakery Cafe. <laughs> yeah, but it just looked really nice, and I wanted to show you guys. I'm extremely happy right now. So, and then we have this nice ass vehicle right here. I think that's i8. I don't know. I just know that because you know. You are I hate to cost a lot of money. <laughs> Shit. And I want one. <laughs> Maybe in a few years. Alright guys, so I'm at the first apartment. I'm not really feeling this, but the area is really, really cool. And 
but there is a view. Okay, <laughs> there is a view, and yeah, it's pretty dope. I don't know about this. I didn't even vlog the unit because I wasn't really feeling it, like I said. But it's a nice building. Um, it's less than the apartment that I pay for right now, which is good, but I also kind of don't like paying almost $2,200 a month for rent. But having a pool on the roof is pretty dope. Um, I know it's cold as hell. It's just not as cold as Michigan. But yeah, this is just the first one. I think I have about six more to see. So I'm gonna vlog those. I just really wasn't that impressed. But I feel happy to be in Delaware looking. So that makes me happy. I've been on top for a while. Now it's not cheap to the moon. Fast car make on room room. Take it to the boom boom room. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm -hmm. Bought a big paddock with a brand new wrist set. Mm -hmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe and a butter jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding in the road, sliding in the line, I'm sliding in the bin. Been working on my confidence and respect. I get a lot of it. I don't have a mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Tryna pour another cup with us. See my brother sitting mud with me. My bitch is a ten, my daddy no me, and I put that new in. My dog just caught another body, now he's popping ten. He's a car that's slipping out the cold to say. Sliding on the island, toe tag. Just in Miami, I was chilling with a Zoe. In the Rose Race, I don't need a low jack. Keep the 45, I had to hold it. Gotta ride with it, cause I'm chosen. I just pulled up, won't let me land. Plan my dice with mustard, bet it on the photo team. I ain't been my money when I'm gonna eat. Pull up the thing, leave me no key. I've been on top for a while. Last time, cheap to the moon. Last time, make one go. Here's a boom, boom, boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm -hmm. Bought a big patty with a brand new wrist set. Mm -hmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe in a butter jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the lamp, sliding the beam. But working on my confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. My, see me on my life. Niggas talk shit, but they never ever know us. <laughs> I've been on top for a while. Yes, I chip it to the moon. That's how I make one go. Take it to the moon. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mm -hmm. Bought a big paddock with a brand new red set. Mm -hmm. Inside a new Maybach coupe and a butter jelly. Mm -hmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding like I'm sliding the beam. But working on my confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Hey guys, so I know I've been pretty absent. I literally am just now getting back to Detroit. I started driving yesterday around 3 p.m. and then I ended up just stopping over a friend's house in Ohio because I was really honestly like truly tired. Like I probably would have driven off the road and nobody has time for that. But I'm finally back home. I've done like a few work meetings and I'm just, you know, on my way to get some food and I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, this trip has been stressful. Um, one thing I can say though about the DMV or just the East Coast in general is there's a lot of money and there's a lot of opportunity there. And I'm so happy to like have this opportunity to just, you know, go out there and expand professionally and socially. And then just like, honestly, make my dreams come true. It feels like a dream come true to be able to move based on, you know, my own professional and scholastic merit because like somebody is, I don't, I don't want to say like paying for me to move, but somebody is literally assisting me and people believe in like me and what I can do for, you know, the company just because of who I am. And I really, really appreciate that. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. So I'm actually up pretty early right now. For me, this is early. It's 1230 and it's a Saturday. I am about to go to brunch with a few of my friends that I haven't seen in a long time, and 
yeah, then I'm going to try and like have a productive day. I'm going to try and maybe go shopping because I don't have any clothes and that tax return just hit. So, yeah. And it's looking very nice, by the way. So, we didn't end up going to Central Kitchen and Bar. We are at Park, downtown, Campus Marshes. Um, this is my friend Darian. If you guys have never met Darian. Then we have Malik. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not that I don't want you to say my eyes. I know that I don't want you to Y'all, so I'm about to go take pictures um, with my new car. My outfit, it matches. Um, I've been like dying to wear this outfit for so long. But this is like my favorite spot to take selfies in my apartment. And there's my friend, literally stealing my light, stealing my natural lighting in my place. <sighs> he should be paying me. <laughs> I should charge a fee. <laughs> but it's good light. Y'all, I just got like some bomb ass pictures, I really did, of my baby. I got it washed. Hey guys, so we are on our way to Target. I have to go and get this air fryer. I think I was telling you guys about it before. It's called like Crew XGG. Um, they have air fryers, they have waffle makers, they have toasters. They have literally all the kitchen appliances and I really, really, really want it. It's a black owned brand and I've been talking about it for so long and people think I'm playing. My little sister came over here like, you are really not going to get an air fryer. I am. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> Is it this one? You press the star. Cause that's what one is. Listen the star. Kennedy. Yes. Are you gonna say hi? Hi. Anyway, I'm not we're angry, going... God. I, don't... <laughs> I don't know how to do this. We're going to go and get my air fryer because I feel like I'm gonna make every single recipe with that air fryer. I swear. It is gonna be amazing. But okay. Talk to you guys in a second. <sighs> Good morning, YouTube. It's literally like 8.30 in the morning on Monday and working from home is absolutely so toxic because your schedule really like changes and getting used to this work from home stuff rather than going in is outrageous. Like I have not been able to get used to it. I don't know why I'm still tired throughout the day. Like it doesn't matter what time I go to sleep. It doesn't matter how much rest I get working from home and like having my bed right there is such a transition it's ridiculous like it's just toxic af even pixie feels it like she's trying to figure out why am i uh, walking around let's see what happens y'all will literally not believe how tired i am like you would think that pixie though you would think that pixie is working a full-time job like me because she just, she just be lounging, like lounging hard. And I know y'all saw that diaper on her. She's on her period right now. So like literally she's bleeding. And, <laughs> and now she's stretching. Cause she just has such a long day. She got a wonderful night's sleep, all of that. My air fryer is almost done making my sandwich. Hopefully this came out the right way. And we only have one minute left, so. It's pretty cool, it's pretty interesting. I wanna see what I can make later on tonight. I'm gonna to try and make some chicken with it and see what that does. Y'all, the grilled cheese looks amazing. It looks amazing. Now, I don't really like know. I don't have a lot of knives or anything. So I'm gonna use a butter knife. I think that's what you use to cut it. Let's see, did it do what it was supposed to do? Cause it's really crispy right now. Doesn't this look so amazing? It's a little crunchy. Definitely could have used a little bit of butter, but nonetheless, tasty. Tasty. 10 out of 10. 